Ministry of Altar Servers, Module 4, The Church. An altar server must know and understand every part of the church he is moving in and treat it with utmost respect. This also extends unto the home. A church is a building that was constructed to allow people to meet, to worship together. The narthex is composed of baptismal font, a fixture used for the baptism of children and adults. The nave is composed of pew, a long bench, seat, or enclosed box used for seating members of the congregation of the church. The sanctuary is composed of altar, the large high table located at the center of the sanctuary, where most of the actions of the liturgy of the Eucharist take place. Lectern, the small high table located at either side of the sanctuary, where the readings from the Liturgy of the Word is read. Tabernacle, a small box in which the body or the blood of Christ may be kept when the Mass is not said. Tabernacle lamp. The lamp that lights the tabernacle, this signifies that there is a Eucharist inside the tabernacle. Presider's chair, the chair in which only the priest or the bishop may sit, whether during the Mass or outside the Mass. Credence table, a small table on which is placed the vessels for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Altar candles, two candles lit during the Mass. It signifies that Christ is the light of the world. Pascal candle. A very large candle placed beside the lectern during the Easter season and below the sanctuary during baptisms and funerals. Holy icons, the pictures or statues of Jesus Christ, the Blessed Virgin Mary, or other saints. Sanctuary bell. The bell located near the altar. It may be in the sanctuary or inside the sacristy. Duties and responsibilities. To have a knowledge of the parts of the church and know its functions for the spirituality of the church. To ensure the care and maintenance of the church. Prayer for a Holy Church and Priest O oh my Jesus, I beg you on behalf of the whole Church, grant it love and the light of your Spirit and give power to the words of priests, so that hardened hearts might be brought to repentance and return to you, O oh Lord. Lord, give us holy priests. You yourself maintain them in holiness. O divine and great high priest, may the power of your mercy accompany them everywhere and protect them from the devil's traps and snares, which are continually being set for the souls of priests. May the power of your mercy, O Lord, shatter and bring to naught all that might tarnish the sanctity of priests, for you can do all things. I ask you, Jesus, for a special blessing and for light for the priests before whom 
I will make my confessions throughout my lifetime. Amen.